The weather's getting warmer now, so it's time to uh, put my boots away, I think. It's too warm for that. So I'll get my summer shoes out. These are my Common Projects Achilles Low in White. But I also have another pair of Common Projects Achilles Low in Grey. So let's get into it. <laughs> Right, so yeah, they are. I've got two pairs, white, and I think they're great. I don't know what the actual uh, color is of them, but they look great to me. Uh, I just wanted to talk about these really because I think they're a big topic. Uh, everyone seems to have opinions about common projects. Uh, are they worth it? They're really expensive shoes, and are they worth the? I think there are three hundred pounds here in the UK to buy them. Uh, they are considered or touted as a premium shoe, but you know people have cut them in half. For instance, if you've seen Rose Anvil. Uh, and found out they're not as premium in the makeup as they are purported, 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 meant to be. So they're launched in 2004 and I think I really got mine, probably the white ones I got back in, I think 2015. Uh, I've had them just because they're a nice summer shoe. And do you know what, like regardless of what everyone says, they've been a fantastic shoe, kept them clean, kept them, wiped them down, they're really easy. The way they're made up, they're really easy to clean. There's nothing really to sort of for stuff to get stuck into. So you just really wipe them down. It's really clean, easy to clean. They're a very comfortable shoe, uh, despite what someone says. And you know, if I've had these since 2015, uh, I can bet your life that people have had Converse and other kind of things 2015 and absolutely ruined. So based on that, for me, I think uh, you, you can get, you can say the price is worth it almost. I mean, you can't go past the, the look of them. They're very simple, they're super comfortable and they just have that kind of appeal to them. Now you can get copies of this and you could probably even get ones that are you know, even way more expensive. Uh, but I, from what Rose Anvil says in his uh, review, some of the leather in some of the places is not uh, as premium as it should be. Uh, to be honest, I haven't really found any kind of bad points that make it uncomfortable, uh, make me get blisters or anything like that. And you know, equally, it hasn't started coming apart in any way. So I've had it for since 2015. Uh, I've, for me, value's there. I think they age really well. Uh, you know, if you're into patina or that kind of stuff, they seem to, I know a lot, a lot of people don't like creases in the sneaker industry or whatever, people hate creases. And I do have a pair of uh, cedar shoe trees that I put in these, I don't have them now, but uh, that's sort of supposed to keep them really stiff and tight. I don't really care about, uh, you know, creases. I think in all my stuff, I like patina, I like showing age, that kind of stuff. Not ruined, you know, falling apart, but, I like a bit of warning look. Uh, so you can see some nice creases there. Well, I think they're nice anyway. Uh, some people like to keep them super crisp and clean. Like the gray ones, they are still pretty fresh on the side. You can't really see much wrong with those guys there. One big thing that people find uh, when you first get them, and it's probably on the gray ones, is they squeak. If you get them, they squeak a lot. The, the, the sole, the rubber, or whatever, squeaks quite a bit. Uh, and most notably, people find it on the tongue. Uh, so when you first get them, you start walking around, it's, it's really noticeable squeaking. Easiest trick, and I haven't seen many people say it, get some talcum powder or talc or whatever you want to call it. Uh, put it on your finger and just rub it on the tongue. Just a little bit, not not so much that it's everywhere, just a little bit on the tongue. Solves it instantly, trust me. Uh, Lifesaver, someone told me that once. So uh, that's one little trick uh, for that. Second con really, well, the first con is the price. 300 pounds, I think 425 US dollars. Do you want to shell out that much money? I think for me, yes. It's lasted me, what's it now, seven, six years? Uh, yeah, it's fine, that's 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 good value for, my, for mine. Second pair, got that, the gray ones to travel in, because uh, I just like the color with a black, pair of black jeans, they look good. Uh, so, you know, I haven't really worn those ones in, but they're identical really. So they are got a long time ahead of them for when we start traveling again, I guess. I think the versatility as well, that, that, I mean, with these, uh, White sneakers, these things with socks, without socks, uh, shorts uh, or jeans, you know, you, they pretty much go with everything. They're really recognizable with the uh, the numbers on the side there that everyone sees. Uh, but they they are a very comfortable shoe. Now the white ones, as I said, go with everything. The gray ones I bought because I really love the subtle look of gray. Uh, I love wearing these with a pair of, um, you know, black jeans or when I was on long haul flights back to Australia, I was wearing these with some black uh, track pants. Uh, it's nice track pants, and <laughs> they looked uh, they looked really good, really super comfortable for transiting through airports and that kind of stuff. You know what? That's it, really. I didn't I didn't really have much else to say about these because I think there's hundreds of videos on YouTube about these people uh, talking about quality, 
uh, price, that kind of stuff. So you can find that information everywhere. I just wanted to give my kind of two cents on why I got these and what I've been using them for. Uh, you'll probably be seeing me wearing these through summer, especially. Uh, they're just a really, really comfortable shoe. If you know any other shoes similar to this that are uh, probably of better quality, let me know. I This is where my, my shoe game kind of ends at Nike Air Max 1 and then I, all I know is this. So throw some brands at me uh, for premium sneakers, white sneakers, and uh, I'd be happy to look into them and maybe reach out and see if I can get a pair to review or something like that. But these are these have been great. These have been great. I wouldn't hesitate to buy them if you're on the cusp of shelling out that money, uh, unless you're going and trampling them in with them in a, fe a festival or something stupid. If you keep them nice, clean, uh, wear them out on special occasions if you want, or just down the pub or whatever, they, they're going to last you a long time. They're better than a pair from ASOS or whatever. Uh, they're going to last you one season. So don't think twice. That's my two cents and yeah. Right, that's it guys, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, drop a comment down below. Love hearing from you guys. As always, drop some comments on brands. I'd like to know what kind of brands I need to be looking into if there's better brands than Common Projects because at the moment they're the top of my you know, white sneakers. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, I don't know what's taking you so long, hit the red button because it helps me bring more content like this to you guys. That being said guys, have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.